So my new ox. <laughs> I've been working this thing hard lately. All the wood that uh, I hauled with my the new little white trailer, I went back and got all the rest of that wood out. And, and hauling wood, so all those blocks were buried in snow and froze. So I was using this for you know a bunch of hours, knocking uh, just using the backwards like a hammer, knocking all the blocks free. And I was doing the same thing here, I was knocking all these blocks free. I was just wailing on with the axe, and uh, whoop, piece popped out. Now, this is my newest axe, but it's more of a. You see how kind of dark it got when I uh, burned it. It's more of a heartwood handle than uh, like a sapwood handle. So it looks very nice when you burn it, but they're not as strong, so look at that, brand new wax. But I was using it backwards as a hammer and like just walloping the crap out of it, right? And there was just enough flex to pop that piece out, so. Wow. <laughs> You can see from there, see the seam, and I have a video of me before Christmas splitting those, drove starting to split those and splitting them with a chainsaw on that. And I, I never got it finished because I took off for Christmas. So, anyways, the other day I glued, I glued it. I should have waited till I got better glue. The glue was starting to get hard and it's kind of like, like almost like foamy in texture. So I like squeeze it out and just put it on there. And I'm just using this paracord as a as a clamp just to hold the wood in place. So I got some jute twine. I'm gonna wrap it in jute twine there and at the end, hopefully it's not too uncomfortable, somewhere in the middle. And I'm gonna wrap it in jute twine and then I'm gonna epoxy it. I'll show you after. I did that to my little, one little ax that I built. I jute twined and epoxy just the end there for a guard. Uh, Doug Linker's channel shows, shows how to do that. So I'm gonna jute twine and epoxy a few spots on this with the glue and then hopefully the handle holds together. Uh, nothing to lose, the handle's already broken, might as well try to save it. Okay, so it's kind of a finer jute twine, but I went with a grain. That would look kind of cool. So. Got three kind of band-aids on it there. So that one in the middle, I left space right here. I, I kind of grab the axe. When I pick up the axe to swing, that's kind of where I put my hand. And then I have room at the back where my hand usually goes. So, uh, uh, I don't know, it might be a little inconvenient to having those, but it should be okay. So that the wrap's on. So now I'm going to uh, apply the epoxy. And it's just a two-part epoxy you get in the squirt tubes. Any kind of clear epoxy. Go to Doug Linker's channel. I think he called it whipping, whipping an axe handle or something. He uses it for like a grip on tomahawk handles. So I'm just gonna, yeah, put the epoxy on. There we go. It looks pretty sweet. The, uh, right, the string, it's a green dyed jute twine, so it's kind of like light and dark parts of the dye. And then with the epoxy, it kind of gives it like a sparkly kind of. I don't know, almost like 3D, like an in-depth, sparkly look to it. It looks pretty cool. The lighting's probably not the best here, but... Um, so what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to take a lighter or uh, like some kind of uh, flame source and burn off the fuzzy stuff before you uh, put on the epoxy. I did it a bit, but maybe not enough. So, uh, it's kind of rough, eh? Like just all the fuzzies. Just stick up when it was... When uh, the epoxy was tacky, I kind of mushed it down a bunch, but uh, so here doesn't matter. But this it's probably gonna be hard on the hands. That uh, the rough stuff you can sand it. Uh, when I I tried to sand the, like this protector part on my other little axe, the black one, and it kind of gave it just like a white dull, you know, look because it was rough from the sandpaper. So I ended up putting like, more epoxy over it to make it look good. So I'm gonna hammer this in the wood pile right now. 
to test its strength and if it seems like it's going to be strong maybe I'll sand this one and this one down and if it makes them look crappy I guess it's not a big deal that one could stay like it is but I just think I'll have to sand it and then try to heat it with some kind of heat source to try to like melt the scratches out and bring it shiny again I don't know I think I might try to catch on fire and just turn black and try to use a flame I don't have a heat gun I'm not sure so I'm gonna put on some gloves and uh Let's go whack this into some wood and see uh, how it holds up. Some of this is some tough stuff. I made a video of splitting this before Christmas. I had the video all made, but then I took off for Christmas. I never got the last little bit done. Uh, like I was wailing, like there's a piece here. Like you can't, you can't bust it in half. You gotta slab chunks off the side. Cause it looks like good straight wood. But I guess when this wood grows, it uh, must grow branches. And as the tree grows, the branches heal over. There's all these little finger knots all within the wood and holds it together like crazy. What I ended up having to do is quarter it up with a chainsaw and then split it and that was going okay. So, here's this. Um, never swung her yet, so let's give her a, let's give her a wallop. This is an easy one, eh? Some of this stuff, my golly. There you go, so all this can be. I'm super happy with it. I'm not gonna do anything with it. Whew. That was a straight grain piece. <laughs> this one here, not so much. So uh yeah, maybe I'll roll some other clips of uh some of the other stuff I split here. Whew. Gotta get out and do more, getting lazy these days. Cut those up. Maybe I'll save those for the wild thing. And uh, here we go. I'll show you a couple things here. I whacked this a couple times, like full power. Whacked it, and look. No, there's not a thing wrong with it. Perfect. I've whacked this a bunch of times, and since I showed it a while ago, I had it on that uh, outdoor camping adventure. And I whacked it a few good times splitting kindling. Perfect. Nothing wrong with it. This one, well, maybe just because of the way it's shaped, but it always slips. I wrapped it real tight once from the top to the bottom, and it moved. So I wrapped it from the bottom to the top. It lasts a long time, but eventually, it always finds a way to move. So I'm going to take this off eventually. I'm going to 
epoxy and jute twine this. It's just uh, jute twine and two-part epoxy. It's all it is. The epoxy soaks into the string and into the handle, and it just becomes an integral part of the integral part of the hack. Hope everyone's been good. I've been good here, just hanging out. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> the mental health is really something, you know. It's trying to keep yourself moving and occupied in these times of boredom and uh, solitude, you know? Like I'm here all by myself and I find myself, if I don't force myself to do something in the day, I'll end up not doing anything that day. So it's, uh, we all gotta stay, stay moving, lift each other up, keep each other positive. Uh, at the start, we all thought this virus is a little bit overblown. Now I think there's some aspects of it that's uh, kind of being downplayed. It's very serious. Um, no matter if you, if you think you're healthy, it's not going to affect you. It, uh, it's kind of shocking. It affects different people in different ways. No one's above it, so we all just got to be smart. And uh, follow the precautions and please take it seriously because you, you don't know. And uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm working on motorcycles. Uh, I don't want to go to the store and buy stuff, so I'm having to order everything, you know. So it just delays on uh, stuff coming in, probably because of the whole pandemic. So just waiting on parts, tinkering away on stuff. Uh, it will be getting warmer here, slowly starting to warm up. Uh, so I will be going back out, spending some time up in my shelter in the woods there, in my lean-to. And everything's good here, so hope everything's good there. I'll talk to you later, guys. I appreciate y'all. The sus subscriber count has been going up. I'm sure that's from uh, <laughs> a lot of people have more time on their hands, eh, to be at home. So. It's all good guys, let's help each other.